What's up guys, I'll give you a quick rundown of my HTPC I built. Uh, this is in a Pivia X Q-Pack 2 case. Uh, I chose this case for a few reasons, I'll kind of go over them as I show you the case. But on the front it's got a FireWire port, two USB 2.0s, and a microphone headphone jack. It also has one external 3.5 inch bay and then two 5 and 3 quarters for like DVD, Blu-ray drives or anything like that. It also has a spring-loaded carrying handle, uh, power reset buttons, hard drive LEDs, it's got screens on the side to help with airflow, and then it also has a uh, system fan temperature monitors that shows the uh, a two, gives you two temperature probes that you can place in whatever you want. So I have one on the hard drive and one on the CPU, just to give you an idea of temps on the inside of the case. One of the other reasons I chose this case is it does have four PCI expansion slots full size. It does take a full size uh, ATX power supply, so you don't have to look for the oddball micro power supplies. You can just put your regular full size one in here. It does have a quiet uh, 120 millimeter fan there on the back, and then it does have a removable motherboard tray also, which is very handy. All right, guys, here you can see an inside view of the case here. It has the two hard drives here uh, vertically mounted on the side. I just have one in right now, but you can do two right next to each other. So you have room for two internal hard drives. Um, it has, here's the rear 120 millimeter exhaust fan. Here's the front, uh, I believe 80 millimeter exhaust fan. They're both low noise, so you, you can't even hear them in your home theater setup. Uh, I'm using an Zeus motherboard with onboard graphics. Uh, AM3, so I got the AMD Phenom 2 955 Black Edition quad core processor in here. And I, you can see I have a tall cooling fan, but I actually had to do some modifications to get that to fit in here. And I'll show you guys what I had to modify on the case in order to get a tall cooler. I wanted a tall and really quiet cooler. The stock cooler was not quiet enough. So I wanted something that was basically inaudible when like we're watching movies and stuff. So this is a setup. Oh, the case also came with a 500 watt power supply. Uh, it only has one six pin power connector, but that's gonna work out perfectly with the new video card that I have and planning installing. It only requires one uh, six pin connector and only draws 100 watts of power. Here's a quick look at the other, other side, guys. You can see that we got pretty substantial room for long video cards. The main problem, obviously, is the height. You gotta make sure they're not too high or have too much heat pipes. Uh, that come up that might hit the, the the power supply here and you have to make sure that they have horizontal facing power connectors otherwise you're going to have to mod your case because your power connector is going to hit this drive bay right here for your CD-ROMs but that gives you a quick look and then you can see in the back there that's this is my CPU cooling fan and then my extra RAM slots power connectors for your front panel USB audio so let's go ahead and pull the tray out and then we'll see about installing that new graphics card. I wanted a quiet CPU cooler that wasn't going to be able to be audible during the movies and I had to modify the case here for the cooler that I found that would fit, the Zygmatek 92mm rifle CPU cooler. Uh, it's a tower style, it has a 92mm uh, fan on the other side here. But as you can see right here and here I had to cut the case with the Dremel to get it to fit because it was... Uh, making contact here but we did get it to fit and work around the power supply uh, this cooler has a fan that you can offset on the other side so it is slightly down lower because of the power supply that comes in here too so this is a cooler that I found that will fit good um, trying to show you from this angle uh, it is pretty tight in there if you can see that's right up on the hard drive chassis and then there is where the cooling fan comes in on a slight angle you can see for the the cooling fan is on an offset angle from the corner of the power supply there but it does fit and it cools great uh, totally inaudible it can't be heard when you're watching movies so that's that's the overall main goal so with a slight modification you can fit this cooler in here you can see I went ahead and removed the motherboard tray and disconnected everything unfortunately the cooler is so tall that you cannot remove uh, the motherboard without removing the, the taller cooler if you have a taller cooler on this case uh, It has a pretty low clearance So we'll just go ahead and install the RAM upgrade I got for this which will bump it up from 4 gigs of DDR3 up to 8 gigs RAM is very easy to install basically you have a, um, a Dash here and you just match it up with the dash on your motherboard pull the tabs back 
insert your uh, new ram sticks and simply push down until the tabs snap into place. Just that easy. Now we'll go ahead and install our new graphics card. As you can see, the, the longer PCI Express slot is made for video cards. It does have a thumb tab that holds it in. Go ahead and just line those up with the slots on your card. And simply give it a firm downward press to seat it. And then mount it with your two screws on the PCI Express slots. Alright guys, moment of truth here to see if this video card is going to fit in here uh, like I think it will, so we'll find out. Looks like it'll be a tight fit. Oh man, that just barely clears. Look at that, perfect. There we go. Upgraded video card. And there you guys go. Now you can see that this case can handle a larger uh, video card. And now all we have to do is go ahead and hook up our uh, power supply. As you can see, I picked this card because the power connector is in the back here coming out the rear. If you have a vertical one, your power connectors are going to hit right here. You could modify this case and cut that, but I really didn't want to have to. So we lucked out, this thing fits like perfectly in here. Uh, it's gonna have a quiet noise because of the dual cooling solution. So it's not gonna be loud, it's gonna offer some great performance and, uh, and cooling for the HTPC setup. We'll go ahead and get all the wires and everything hooked back up. Quick look at like, what kind of clearance we got here. I did have to remove the power supply from the top to uh, insert the card here. But you can see that it, all, it does all fit quite well actually and the power supply will fit on top of here and suck air directly from the video card not only that but the video card will also be exhausting air out the back here so that works out great let's go ahead and get the rest of it put together here you go guys as you see we got everything back in there everything's reconnected maybe just do some zip ties for cable management but we got the video card in without a problem everything's fit the rams upgraded so thanks for checking out my HTPC guys hope you enjoyed watching this video